This is an NGO, a private not for profit, uh, owned by missionaries, Komboni missionaries, uh, under the Uganda Catholic Medical Bureau, uh, managed by Mbarara Catholic Diocese. Uh, it being actually, uh, it was started as a rural facility to help the poor. Um, ideally, we used to charge very little money at the expense of the facility. Maybe from other, we could get some funding from the from the missionaries who started it. But still, it, we could get so many challenges because you find uh, we could we could charge a half the almost a half the the cost price of things to see that people do people come for the service. Uh, okay, we could we could get some little funding which could make the health unit m m keep moving, but not developments actually were not there because we could get what we could consume more times even less than what we could con what, what we could need to for consumption. Uh, but when mother stops came, definitely there were so m we got so many mothers, and uh, when we got so many mothers, definitely the Mario stops could could pay could pay could pay some money after after working for the antenato after working for the maybe for the deliveries it even forced us actually to bring more stuff to help the workers because the workload became too much because if we were delivering eight mothers in a month that when even one person could work in ward and work at the same time in the maternity. But if you're delivering 70 mothers, you have to have mother and I think uh, you have seen the line we have had there in antenat for antenatal mothers at midday, which means mothers, there are also too many. So we are forced to employ more staff members. We had only one midwife, but now we have four to cater for deliveries and antenatal. I think that is one of the major, uh, major areas that we've done well. Then initially we had a problem of transport. Uh, we were able to get a motorcycle actually for to move around the village through the help of actually some savings that we did from Mary Stops. We were able to to buy to, to to purchase a motorcycle. We were able even this building actually it was it was a bit old. There are some buildings up there you'll see them. That is it. That is how it looked like, but uh, from from the little savings we could make from out of Mary stops, we we we, we added from the little more money that we had and we renovating this building. So those are a few some of the some of the areas that we've been able to improve on. Initially. Uh, Especially deliveries. I don't know about other places, but here in Bitoma, in this in this health center, it was very poor. In a month, we could get eight mothers. In Antinat, we could get so many mothers. They come only once, one visit. After the first visit, they disappear. You know, you'll see them again when they are bringing children for immunization. Um, but uh, we have a few these TBAs, traditional birth attendant. Uh, mothers could always go there because they, they could get the herbs. At times they even could they could even die from there and they they take them secretly back to bury them that maybe she died out of this but without they could confuse the whole idea. Uh, but uh, most of the deaths could come up as a result of uh, these uh, complicated mater maternal problems. Then again we could even get more even difficult scenarios here. You get a woman she needs a referral, but she doesn't have money. You refer a woman, we don't have money to get her to hire a vehicle to take us to the hospital. Um, and she's either having a uh, antipart antipartum hemorrhage that is bleeding before the time of delivery, and uh, then the woman is there for me. I don't have anything to do, I have nothing to do. I can't move from here, I can't go to the next hospital. I don't have money because when I get going there, they need transport. I need to hire a vehicle. I don't have that money. 
when I get there, they, they, they might even end up operating. And the end result, they might even come and sell the small portion of land that we, that we have. So we had so many difficult scenarios. At the time we could go even an extra mile to, to negotiate and get a vehicle for them at the expense of, of the health center, though it was very difficult because the health center also did, didn't have enough in, enough funds to do that, to see that they have gotten to the health facilities. But then, uh, as, we, as we talk now, actually in this Bushenyi district, this health center here, um, we are the best health center in the deliveries. We are the best actually. Uh, any program that pertains people from the Ministry of Health, they have come, they want to check maternal ward, they come here. Can you imagine, we came from eight deliveries in a month, but apparently at times we go even up to 70. Uh, we are in, okay, in the district, we are number four uh, from, there is a certain hospital, it's called the Kampala International University Hospital. We have Kumbon Hospital, we have Vishaka Adventist Hospital, then after that, this uh, this health center comes in. So, actually, the, things are not badly off now. They are good, actually, to be sincere, because all the mothers who could divert to other to TBS, they are now getting. The, the, we are capturing them back to to come to the health facility. Even especially these poor mothers who could run away. Maybe their charges for antenatal delivery, you pay money. But now at least they are getting some confidence. I remember in 2009 they called us for a training in Barara. That is the place where they, they have the, 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 I think it's like the operation office for the project. They took us there for the workshop uh, pertaining what is Mary Stops, what the, what the services, how we are supposed to be doing, how we are supposed to be feeding forms, and so many and such. After that they they again called the they called two they appointed two uh distributors from the villages they took them again for the training on what they are supposed to be doing then after that uh, we immediately after the workshop we came they gave us the tools we came and uh, we started working though actually at the beginning it was a bit challenging because there was an influx of mothers uh, especially these p pregnant mothers, because immediately when they heard of the voucher program, there were radio shows, they could come here for, they could come and bring sort of like road show to come and talk about Mary Stops, the services that they offer and such other things. So that is how it started up to date. We had a large number of uh, people around who are infected with sexually transmitted infections and as you know these sexually transmitted infections they are common to people who are sexually active so if someone has sexually transmitted infections and that particular person is sexually active it means they are going to within a short time they will keep on spreading them to from one person to the other so we had that challenge and the number of those people was too high Again, people didn't have money at uh, the bar attendance. They didn't have enough money to come and seek treatment. So we we rest the issue to, to the Mary Stops. We showed them our data, what uh, the number of cases we are getting, and uh, the severity actual of the cases that we are getting. So that one forced them to come and they, they, they had to bring us the, the program. Uh, which actually assisted so many people. We treated so many people within a short duration. Which program? For it was, they used to call it Healthy Life uh, for treating uh, sexual transmitted diseases. Common is to uh, gonorrhea and uh, syphilis. Uh, though these others, they are not so rampant, like uh, trichomon trichomoniasis, uh, candidiasis, but the commonest ones were gonorrhea and syphilis, of which actually uh, we were even able to to get. There is a certain client, um, a woman who, who had actually she had gone to several health centers because they didn't mind much about doing the investigations, 
they just could treat clinically according to how the woman was. So when they heard about this program, they came here. They, 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 they had that woman actually she was telling me that I have been planning to to hang myself. The whole vagina was eaten up. On examination, you could see the uterus, the inside of the vagina, without doing anything. The whole vagina was eaten up. But actually, actually, she's among the people who actually appreciated. After the we, we did investigations, we treated her until she got better, and I also benefited from it because the woman brought for me a cock. <laughs> We have so many mothers who actually who are eligible for the vouchers, but they don't have them. Reason being that uh, the voucher, the program is almost coming to an end. So actually, I don't know where where we shall end up with these mothers, because now they are, they have been even the poor woman now could speak amongst the in a group because they are confident that even if now I'm pregnant, I'm sure that I'm going to. To deliver, to have a safe delivery, but now my my greatest worries are that uh, the in February the project is coming to an end, so I don't know what will happen next to to the mothers who to to the poor pregnant mothers. I um, I I don't want to imagine the state where we were and uh, how mothers could actually uh, mothers could lose could lose life out of out of maybe having nothing to do, they couldn't even come to the health facilities because they don't have, they know when they come here, they will be requesting to pay money. They remain at the, whole, at the village, they don't know whether they are, they are going to deliver normally, they, or they will develop complications. Once they develop complications, they have no way to move from there. So when, it, when the, this program ends, I don't know what we, shall, what we are going to do. To me, I feel it's a great challenge. Then uh, maybe an, another area that I feel that uh, the project can uh, maybe will come up to, to assist, um, especially on the, on the newborn, the program doesn't cater much about the newborn, uh, especially after the babies have been delivered, you've discharged them like today, tomorrow they come back with some complications. Maybe if the program can cater for around a newborn up to around one month. It can it, it can do a great deal to them because that is the time when most of the babies normally have at a high risk of 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 getting complications and even dying.